you in the precious name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for today's meditation, John chapter 17, verse 10. And all mine are yours, and yours are mine, and I am glorified in them. I read it again. And all mine are yours, and yours are mine, and I am glorified in them. Jesus said these beautiful words. All of his fathers are his, and his are all of his fathers, and he has been glorified. Yes, even in our life, everything belongs to Him and He belongs to us. What a wonderful relationship that we have with our Lord Jesus Christ. Everything of us is His and everything of Him is ours. Yes, He in us and we in Him. What a glorious life. Christ in me. How is Christ in me built? Or how I have Christ in me? How I have Christ in me. The word of the Lord is so beautiful. Christ in me. We are going to meditate on how is Christ in me. Number one, John chapter 15 verse 5 says like this. John 15 5. I am the wine. You are the branches. He who abides in me and I in him bears much fruit. For without me, you can do nothing. When we rely on Him, when we are in Him, yes, the word of the Lord says, I'm the true wine. He is the wine. The God who is in us, Christ who is in us, is like a wine inside of us. Christ who is in us is like a wine inside of us that we will give much fruit. Yes, my friend, we have got Christ, Jesus Christ in our life. And we need to understand that we have got a wine inside of us. He is the wine and we are the branches and we need to abide in Him and we need to bear much fruit. It is very important that we bear much fruit. We give much fruit. This life should be a life of blessing for others. We should be a channel of blessing to bless many people around us. For that, We have a wine inside of us. Today, my friend, just understand and just realize that the Christ who is inside of you is the true wine and he will help you bear much good fruit. If he was not there inside of us, we will bear, we will not be able to bear fruits. Even if we would have borne fruits, we would have not borne good fruits. Yes, this morning, may the Spirit of the Lord help us understand this, that He is inside of us. And because He is inside of us, let us bear much fruit. Let us be a blessing to many. Though there are hurts in our life, pain in our life, Joseph, the land of Egypt, all that it gave to Joseph was pain. Pain, shame, injustice, all this were happening to Joseph. But in return, Joseph blessed the land. Joseph became a blessing to the land. How? It's all because the wine who was inside of him. Today, God is inside of you like a wine. If anyone has given pain in your life, don't give back pain in return. But give a good fruit, a blessing to their lives. We don't we, we don't take revenge on anyone. We don't give back what people give. We always bless everyone. Not because we are good, because there is a good wine that is inside of us that helps us to bear good fruit. Number two, Christ in us. How? Galatians chapter 2 verse 20 says, I have been crucified with Christ. It is no longer I who live, but Christ lives in me. And the life which I now live in the flesh, I live by faith in the Son of God who loved me and gave himself for me. Secondly, Christ in me lives in me. He is alive inside of me. He lives in me. First, he is a wine in me. 
that I will bear much fruit. Second, he lives in me that I will have control with every act of mine. I will have control over my flesh. I will have control over all the acts of my flesh because Christ in me he is alive and he is living inside of me because he lives in me I can crucify everything on the cross because he lives in me I can nail everything on the cross and I can say I have overcome I have control over every act of my flesh there are so many fleshly desires that comes in our life but Christ in us who is, lives in us helps us overcome every act of flesh number 3 is first john chapter 4 verse 4 says like this you are of god little children and i overcome them because he who is in you is greater than he who is in the world firstly christ in you is a wine that you bear much fruit secondly christ in you he lives that you will have control over everything of your flesh number 3 christ in you is great in me that i will be a conqueror that i will overcome everything in life he is in me as a great one 12 spies went to spy canaan 10 had a negative report 2 had a positive report and the 2's positive report was because they measured Canaan with their god because that god was great than anything today my friend the greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world you have a great god with you do not worry about anything you can overcome any challenges in your life you will always be conquerors in Christ Jesus overcomers and victorious today let us understand how Christ is in us he is in us like a wine so that we will be a blessing to others and we will bear much fruit he is in us alive so that we will have control over our, our flesh and the flesh the acts he is inside of us as a great one so that we will be more than conquerors and we will be victorious people let us understand this and let us live that life enjoy that life with Christ who is in us shall we pray father we thank you for you are inside of us what a great joy to have you in our lives lord without you we are nothing lord because you came in our life our life has got meaning to live in this world jesus we pray that we will understand that you are the wine inside of us that you are alive living inside of us and you are the great one inside of us help us to understand the god who resides inside of us that we will bear much fruit and we will be a blessing to people we will have control over the fleshly acts and we would be able to overcome and be victorious bless everyone who are watching this let your name be glorified In jesus name we pray amen may god bless you have a wonderful day be conquerors understand christ who is inside of you thank you god bless you